Today we're gonna to talk about Joe Mito. He is a artist from Spain and he loves lines and shapes. Big surprise, so do I, so do you, we all do. And we're gonna combine it to make a story. You're gonna tell me a story using some really interesting symbols inspired by Joe Mito. And um, that's pretty much it. We're gonna paint, we're gonna color, we're gonna draw, we're gonna have fun, all right? So pay attention, you know I'll be watching. Oh, right. it's time to start. Alrighty then, what we will do, I'm just playing Smith Fuentes here. What we're gonna do right now is think about the story you're gonna create. You gotta tell me a story using some symbols. Like I said, you have a handout at your table with all kinds of cool freeform shapes and lines. You're gonna use this to create, to just pretty much tell me that story. All right, first thing I gotta do, what is your story? My story? Me hanging out on the couch being a blob. So I look for a blob shape. Hey, that's a blob shape, I'm gonna use that. And I go ahead and I start drawing myself here. And boom, fill up that paper, guys. Don't give me a whole, some, some tiny little shape here. We're gonna be painting this thing, so you gotta give me some big shapes and lines. And then, okay, do I have an arm? What's my arm holding? I don't know, but let me go ahead and start with the arm. That's your second step. Give yourself some arms, and give yourself some legs. Then start creating some more detail around the body. Really have fun with it, let your imagination run wild. This is kind of what I'm expecting. Second graders, I want you to give me some more detail so you can go in and color in a couple little areas. If you look at my little symbol sheet, I do have some spots that have um, little shapes and stuff like that. And you can also give them some more detail. So this is just like a second grader right here. All right, some nice detail. If you're a third grader, you should definitely have some more little figurines coming around it. Maybe he's got this weird little like a leaf shape underneath him. Given, give him an environment if you're in third grade. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how you can continuously add things. And as you know, there are a couple students in my class that are in second grade that draw like fourth graders and third graders. So feel free to add more and be a four. So this is what I'm looking for when it's time to paint. Fill up your space, however, whatever time you have enough for. And then we're gonna go in and start painting this guy. You're gonna get a cup of water with a paintbrush and you're gonna use some liquid watercolors today. All right, these are also really fun to use because it's so vibrant, and I have some glitter ones for you guys to use, so use whatever colors you want. Just know when you go in with the color, for example, green, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this guy right here green. When you start painting this, try to stay in the black lines, because that's one thing Mito really loved was his black solid line, so make sure you stay right into those lines. All right, this is looking good, love it. What I'm gonna do is clean out my paintbrush, whoa, whoa, whoa and then get some, uh, get a paper towel, wipe off my paintbrush so it's not too dry, and get a new color. I'm gonna go with some blue and then maybe paint this side of it blue. <laughs> I finished, I'm so happy. You will be too, once you give me that story, using your Jean Mito, inspired symbols and make sure you give me some colors and lines and make sure there's no scribbles gravel. Either way, you're gonna have fun with it. As long as you use your imagination and you can tell me a story today, you're gonna do awesome.